All right, so there was a very recent leaked document from Google that was shared by Semi Analysis, who mentioned that they confirmed its authenticity as having come from a researcher at Google. The title of the document is We Have No Moat and Neither Does OpenAI. Now, moat here refers to the watery border around a castle that serves to protect it from attackers. And in this analogy, the castle is the business and the moat being the protection around it from pesky competitors, i.e. a competitive advantage, which, if you have one, allows your company to make ridiculous profits. For example, powerful network effect, a sticky product, an ecosystem, etc. A very strong moat or multiple modes can lead a company to monopoly status, the holy grail for capitalist enterprises. In the leak, it mentions that they, Google, are not best placed to win the AI race, but they're surprisingly neither is OpenAI. If you don't know, that's the name of the very eerie company that has become synonymous with AI since the launch of ChatGPT. I'll be making a separate video about why it's so strange, the company, OpenAI, in due course, so be sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss that. By the way, I'm Saeed, the Coder Grammar, so welcome to my channel if you're new. So what they talk about in this leak is that while they were busy trying to keep up with OpenAI, a bunch of open source efforts have come to the fore and now pose a very real risk to their business. They talk about things like LLMs being run on a Pixel 6 phone, highlighting how easy it is to get involved. In other words, you don't need to be Google or Amazon to run them. By the way, LLMs are large language models, the backbone of ChatGPT and other AI chatbots. The fact that you can fine tune an AI on your laptop in one evening, i.e. it is already becoming decentralized, the doc says that trying to control the release of these technologies is obviated. Now, Sam Altman of OpenAI talks about slowing the release of their tech so that humanity has a chance to catch up. But since the cat is already out of the bag, as the doc suggests, it is somewhat futile. You can find AI art freely available and text is not far behind. They talk about having a slight edge in the quality of their models, but a slight edge is not enough to achieve a moat, let alone a monopoly in most cases. Google search, which many people might describe as a monopoly, was not slightly better than the alternatives. It was markedly better. It talks about how even with their lead in funds and compute availability, open source is able to do much more with much less. The example given is $10 million and 540 billion parameters struggling to compete with what can be done with $100 and 13 billion parameters in the case of open source efforts. And remember, if lots of funds and compute were required, then that could act as a sort of moat, not against OpenAI, who have plenty of backing themselves from Microsoft, but at least from open source efforts. The clincher here is the line that we have no secret source in quotes. I'll repeat, we have no secret source. This is coming back to moats and it is this lack of ability to differentiate that poses the biggest risk to Google in my opinion. It mentions that the best strategy might be to collaborate with others in this space, i.e. the open source players. It may be the best that they can do, but it doesn't sound like a great business opportunity to me and threatens their current excellent search advertising business. They talk about how giant models are actually slowing them down instead of being their scale advantage. You can see the difference in performance between the open source variants with one being 90% as good as ChatGPT in this chart. And I suspect as the article suggests, the gap will be closing soon. Now talking about the open source movement, it talks about the first foundational models making their way to the open source community in March being Meta's Llama, which was leaked to the public. It lacked conversation tuning, RLHF, which stands for reinforcement learning from human feedback and more, but it didn't stop the open source community from getting stuck in. They solved the scalability problem such that almost anyone can now tinker and get results. This ability of ordinary folk to contribute comes from a cheaper to run mechanism for fine tuning called LoRa or low rank adaptation, along with scale breakthroughs such as Chinchilla. Such contributions led to stable diffusion, the image generator, having an open model with integrations, marketplaces, etc., compared to DALI and the much more closed system. And the suggestion is that the same may happen for LLMs, just like ChatGPT, i.e. the non-defensible position, no moat. The document goes on to talk about how Google needs to utilize and work with some of these optimizations that are coming from outside of Google. These optimizations include the stackability of the open source approach versus the complete retraining of models inside Google and the inherent inefficiency of that. Now, coming on to competing with open source, it talks about the futility of trying to compete with open source players and how this directly impacts their business. It begs the question about paying for a limited service versus a free unlimited high quality alternative. I do personally find this argument questionable since open source has existed next to paid enhanced products for a long time and businesses have done just fine. But for sure it's not a moat, it's more of a small pond or a puddle. If you're interested in the timeline around the Meta leak, you can see that here. I'll include a link in the description below so you can read that in more detail. 
Now, coming on to the Meta League, the document does go on to talk about how this may actually be positive for Meta since the innovation in open source is happening on top of their architecture. So they can at least directly benefit from that open source work being carried out by unpaid specialists the world over. But again, I don't think it gives them a huge moat. So the idea of control or controlled releases is an anathema in that this stuff is already out there and actively being worked on despite OpenAI trying to slow the release of their own tech. And finally, it talks about how the only real option is to be a leader in the open source space and try to create some sort of platform where open source users can work from, like say Android. Personally, I'm not sure if it isn't too late for that already for Google, but this may be an existential threat to Google's massive advertising business. So they may put some major resource behind it and who knows what they could achieve. Now, in wrapping up, we have to mention that this is purportedly a leak from a researcher. Not that I can confirm that. And it is not necessarily the agreed approach that the company will take, just an interesting take on the issue. Let me know if you think Google are on the right track to benefit from the new wave or are they doomed? And watch this space to see what actually happens in the industry. Thank you for watching.